Cancers. Welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today we're going to do a Cancer Twin Flame reading. We're going to start out with a new deck, Oracle Cards, just to get a feel for the energy for the Divine Masculine first, and then a feel uh, for your energy. So we're going to do just a general, general Twin Flame reading for the Cancerian Collective who will be tuning in and watching. I call on all my guys, angels, and Senate Masters to please help me be a clear channel for the Cancerian Twin Flame Collective who will be tuning in and watching. What do they need to know in regards to their Twin Flame connection? What is the current energy for the Cancerian Twin Flame Divine Masculine? What is the current energy of the Divine Masculine for the Twin Flame Cancerian Collective who will be tuning in and watching? Current energy, current energy of the Divine Masculine. I feel it's just one brown. So these are color cards. It lists the color and then the uh, keywords. Stability, reliability, honesty, comfort. Wow. Brown. So that's a very grounding color. So that is his current energy or her, depending on your situation. I'm going to say, I'm going to assume that it's the Divine Feminine watching the video and that the Divine Feminine is she. And then I'm going to assume that they're wanting to know about the Divine Masculine. And I'm going to reference that as a he just to make it easier in this video. But if your roles are switched, then reverse them as it fits. All right. So it seems like they're very stable at this time. So, okay, this one wanted to come out. Burgundy, intensity, individuality, power, sophistication. So this is the energy of the divine feminine. It's interesting that, you know, whenever I do twin flame readings, they always mirror each other. He has brown and you have burgundy and they're very close in colors. I mean, out of all the cars, all this, this whole deck, the two that comes out are pretty much very similar in the same shade. He has brown, stability, reliability, honesty, comfort, and you have intensity, individuality, power, sophistication. So it appears you both are uh, in your power. Well, that's a good sign, Cancerian. Look, at the bottom of the deck, we have maroon, ambition, confidence, acceptance, sophistication. Wow, so there's, a, I'm going to take that for the connection, the energy of the connection, because I was going to pull one, and then I went to the bottom of the deck, but I'll pull, I'll, I'll ask for another one. Spirit guys, angels, senate masters, can we get a card, see that just jumped out, coral, now this is totally different, sort of still in the same family though, warmth, acceptance, positivity, individuality. So this is the energy of the connection, warmth, acceptance, positivity, individuality, ambition, confidence, sophistication. Sophistication comes out twice, look. All right, well, this is a good, uh, good start. So there's uh, individuality, stability, yeah, so... So it appears the Divine Masculine is getting more comfortable. He's stabilized. Uh, he's, he's honest. He's comfortable, feeling comfortable. And you're uh, dealing with, you know, you're in your power, empower, individuality. And then the connection has the same thing. So this tells me that uh, the energies between you two are very balanced, which is good, which is what Twin Flame is working towards, is individuality, working on each other's shadow individually be and being balanced before coming back together and connecting. So the, the energy of the connection is warmth, acceptance, positivity, individuality. Individ so you each are owning your, and the connection is owning your power. 
in your own individual uh, connection individually. So that's good. So that's current energies. All right. Look. Teal. Morality, renewal, individuality, practicality. So teal has to do with, uh, there's green. Green is the heart chakra. So there's, there's, this connection between you and your twin flame is very, um, is there's a very grounding energy, a focus on individuality, being practical, reliable. So it's stable, practical. Very nice. Very nice, Cancerian. Very nice. Calmness, clarity, communication, compassion. So you guys have been working on yourself. So there's a clarity. And I feel like the Divine Masculine is getting more clear and more comfortable with the connection. And if you've been in separation or no communication phase, there's a communication coming in. Compassion, calmness, and clarity. Look, power, sophistication, protection, elegance. Look, how balanced is this? Bottom of the deck is black. Top of the deck is white. Purity, innocent, clean, cleanliness, perfection. Remember, I, I just said there was a balance, the yin and the yang, the black and the white. Wow, very balanced. This is awesome, Cancer, and I know that's out of frame, out of frame. So I have a whole tarot room, and uh, I go and do readings in my home office. This is, this is where I do, this is where I work when I work remotely at home. But uh, I just, I don't know. I start, do, I start doing reading here. I'm not sure why. I have a whole tarot room that's de designated for, anyway, that's neither here or there. So let's pull some of this stack. Ah, that jumped out. I couldn't let you get too close to me. So this is the message that he wanted you to know at this time. All right. And what is your the message for the divine for the divine uh, feminine to the divine masculine? Well, these jumped out quickly. I will wait for you for a wow. This is so awesome. So the divine masculine is saying, I couldn't let you get too close to me. And the divine feminine is saying, I will wait for a sign from you. So she's giving him space. Wow, Cancerian. No, well, no wonder the individuality word kept coming up. So you're doing your thing and you sort of release, relax a little bit. So even though the connection is there, uh, you're waiting for him, but you're not putting your life on pause. Oh, this is beautiful. Bottom of the deck for the connection. We both know I am not the one for you. Okay, so Divine Masculine is still working on self-growth, uh, self-worth, uh, self self-worth issue, self-worth issue. All right. And this, I don't think this applies. It says you and I were too young. So that doesn't apply. To, I don't feel it applies. All right. I am becoming a better person. All right. I hope that you can forgive me one day. All right. So let's clarify with my own deck, this spirit guys, angel, Senate master, please clarify that we both know I am not the one for you message. Please clarify that. Please clarify the message on the divine masculine's half for the message we both know I am, okay argument so there was an argument of some sort maybe words were said hurtful words were said all right 
bottom of the deck we have family obligation healing yeah he's still healing please clarify the we both know all right look you see where it's it flipped i said we're uh self-worth issue this says self is uh self-reflection self-reflection shine substance abuse intrigue 333 synchronicity all right yeah, so Divine Masculine doing some self-reflection. It seems like he's raised his vibration. Some of them still uh, dealing with substance abuse. May it be alcohol or drugs or uh, sex or uh, what have you. Intrigue, gambling, you know, all the vices that men get into. Intrigue. All right, he is intrigued with you, though. Attach. We both know I'm not the one for you. All right, spirit guys, angels, and masters, please clarify. Speed. That was there. I put it back. So there's incoming, there's speed coming. Something's going to come in quickly. mesmerize he's mesmerized with you we i saw attach and then it, intrigue mesmerize and intrigue there is love there there is love okay so this divine masculine has a lot of family uh, stuff going on because we just saw family obligation now we see family and then we see self-sabotage yeah I, but energetically i do pick up self-worth issues that's why that's why this message is here. We both know I'm not the one for you. See pity. Pity. There is 1212. 12. Yeah, see divine masculine. So this is uh spirit confirming he is your divine masculine. That came out in the pre-shuffle and strength. All right. So so, so far, that, that's what's currently going on. It seems like the connection is balanced. Uh, but he's still working on some self-worth stu self stuff. So, let's pull one of these. Spirit guys, angels, Senate masters, can we get a card for the Divine Masculine? Awareness. Okay. So, he is. That's why we have Sean. He is aware. He is aware of the connection. He is aware. But I hear the word denial. He He's still in denial a little bit. Although he is aware. Look, you guys, bottom of the deck, intimacy. Twin flame, connection. So this is energy of the connection. It is a twin flame connection, and he is your divine masculine. Authenticity. Authenticity is at the bottom of the deck. Oh, I can't pronounce the word. Potential. The potential is there. Okay, one card for the Divine Feminine Spirit. One card for the Divine Feminine. Transformation. You're transforming, Divine Feminine. You are transforming. And some of you are focusing on working on doing your mission doing your calling healing and sending light and raising vibration of planet that's why i was saying you're doing you individuality uh so you know the twin flame connection each twin have their own mission and then there's a tw there is a team there is a mission that you both do together but you guys are focusing on your thing so this is very healthy very healthy, divine feminine, cancerian. Good job. Yeah, bottom of the deck, solitude. So that is for the connection. So you guys may not be in communication at this time. And look, the word strength came out again. Remember I just showed you guys strength? I showed you guys strength in this deck. I don't know where it is. Yeah, see, I showed you strength. I didn't take it. See how spirit works? And then strength shows up again in this deck. Yeah, so this is for the Divine Masculine. He's still working on being strong. Fighting that shadow side, 
overcoming that shadow side, overcoming the the dark night of the soul, all the vices of the dark side, the drugs, the alcohol, the sex addiction, the uh, substance abuse, the the karmic, the ex, the the family, the um the programming, you know, the matrix, you know, whatever it may be, he's going through that and working on being strong enough to overcome all that 3D stuff, the programming, the brainwashing, the unlearning, the unlearning of all the programming and then dealing with his emotions and then, you know, all the other quote unquote baggage that hinder a person's, you know, soul growth. Quint essence. That's interesting. Quint essence. Where is, I was going to look up to see what that means. But. I'm not sure where I put the, oh, here it is. Let's look up quintessence to see what that means. Because I don't know what that means. And it seems quintessence. The pure energy of quintessence will bring about major transformations to your life. Okay, so it's appropriate. It's very synchronistic because you have the transformation card and he's going, he has the strength card. So we'll, we'll look, look at this. You are reaching directly into the source of nature spirit associated with the crown chakra. Oh, okay. The crown chakra is opening up. The mystical moonflower brings supremely spiritual energy your way. All right. Located in the ethereal realms, quintessence is the element of the heavenly bodies, the fifth element. This enigmatic, enigmatic element is believed to be the purest one of all, a divine energy. Beautiful. Your crown chakra is a portal through which you receive this celestial energy bringing you heightened intuition and insight meditation will help encourage her flow but do take care to remain grounded do not overlook that you are of terrestrial manifestation of earth air fire and water this mesmerizing element has the potential to bring you eternal happiness. And we did have the word mesmerize, right? For the divine masculine. Okay, and I started off the reading saying, I feel like he's opening up and we we have awareness for him and now we have quintessence. All right, so his crown chakra is opening up and he is aware of this connection, but he's still working through and trying to be strong, working through some of his... Um, you know, his self-worth, his fears, his doubt, his programming, uh, the way he was brought up, yada, yada, yada. And so on and so forth. So very good, very good, very good. And let's pull some of this messages. One card for the Divine Masculine. This one went to come out. Heart Chakra. Awaken your heart center and let love in. Yeah. So his crown chakra is opening up and his heart chakra is opening up. He is aware and he is connected, but uh, his heart chakra is still closed or not fully open yet. So awaken your heart center and let love in. So he's still... That that thing that you you know we know I'm not the right one for you that ha that's he's not feeling worthy that's the self doubt the low self esteem unworthy unworthy of love not feeling good and not not deserving so still working still working work in progress but there is improvement and there is an awareness there all right and look again. Again, you guys, this is a uh, confirmation for you guys that he is your divine masculine and he is the divine masculine. And then bottom of the deck, someone wants another chance to make things right. 
the desire to do things better. We did see forgiveness, right? Or regret or I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, so, and then we have that pity. So he is uh, going through remorse and regret over whatever transpired, whatever he did, whatever he said, whatever transpired between the two of you, the last, you know, you had communication. Someone wants another chance to make things right. All right. Lessons of Mars, purely physical, sexual attraction, fire and passion run east and burn fast without other elements. So there is passion there. There is sexual desire we did see attached. A soul's desire to resolve living patterns of control and dependency. Many challenges but can bring benevolent long-term rewards. Yeah, so he's going through the dark night of the soul still working through Try and be strong, working on all his vices and all the ch childhood stuff. Unexpected people event messages from which situation. Okay, hold on. Let me shuffle for the divine feminine. Messages for the divine feminine. Synergistic. This is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one. That's very interesting to find that feminine. <laughs> So it's like the divine uh, masculine is going through the victim mode, regrets, remorse, you know, I'm not good enough, go on without me. And then in the meantime, spirit is giving you message, messages that he is the one, like divine masculine, divine masculine, he is divine masculine. <laughs> and then your message is, this is your energetic match, two birds sing sweeter than one synergistic so the message is for you is yes yes he is he is <laughs> new beginnings letting go change time to move forward risk and opportunity uh external party karmic contracts family look family finances and other material concerns or responsibility are causes of interference and stress Okay, so there is going to be a new beginning. So that's the energy of the connection. But this is what he's going through as well. External party, karmic contracts. Ma this divine masculine cancerian is dealing with family. We have family, uh, family obligation, and then we have family by itself. And now we have external party. We have karmic contracts, and then we have family again. He could be dealing with family. He could be dealing finances. The last reading I did for, for you guys had to do with uh, a divine masculine counting money, worrying about finances, material concerns, or responsibility or cause of interference and stress. Yeah, so it doesn't always have to be an external party or interference or karmic. It doesn't always have to be a romantic, you know, other person. It could be family, it could be finances, it could be work, it could be substance abuse, it could be a combination, you know, of those. So he's still he's still tying up loose ends. He's still dealing with this. He's going through stress and he's dealing with this physically and then mentally, emotionally, he's dealing with the self-worth issues and self-esteem issues, all right? So that's what's currently going on. So that's all the Oracle cards out of the way. So let's pull some. Uh, let's pull some tarot. I was debating if I want to use this deck, but I'll use this deck and then I'm going to use a specific twin flame deck. Spirit guys, angels, the Senate masters. Okay, this card wants to come out. The hanged man. Yeah, he's uh, at a pause still. No movement. So you need to give him a little bit more time. Still reflecting. But he's very grounded and balanced. You have to be grounded and balanced to do this tree pose. And you have to be totally connected to the earth. And the tree pose is representing the tree. Rooted to the ground. Stable. Remember that was his first card. Stable, honest, responsible. Uh, stability all right so earth energy earth energy all right at least he's stable though stable all right let's 
so but no movement but he is getting insight this is also the um you know he got awareness and opening of the crown chakra this is uh the hangman is enlightened as well when he's hanging upside down and seeing a different perspective having an aha uh -huh, enlightened moment what is going on for the Cancerian Twin Flame connection. Ten of Wands. Heavy. Yeah, this masculine is dealing with heavy burden. Obligation. A lot on his shoulders. I don't know what is on his plate, uh, Divine Feminine. But this man or woman, take it how it resonates, has a lot on his shoulders. Almost like a whole village worth of responsibility. You see this guy here, this one guy? This is like a whole freaking village that's been uh, like demolished from this volcano. So that's to give you the sense of overwhelming responsibility burden that's on his shoulder. It's overwhelming. It's like imagine after this destruction and devastation, this whole town, this whole village or several towns and village, all not only his family, but his in-laws, his cousin, his aunt, his uncle, his brother, his sister. It's like <laughs> everyone and their brother is depending on this one individual. Wow. Wow, that's just an, an analogy. It may or may not be the case, but that's an analogy to give you a sense of the overwhelming uh, heavy burden that your Divine Masculine is feeling right now. Wow. All right. But there is a new beginning New beginning in love. You see, this reminds me of Twin Flame. The blue and then over here is yellow. Two birds. There will be peace. Peace of mind. Lo lotus. Enlightenment. There is a solid new beginning. There is passion. Passion. And there will be karmic justice. All right. A scale of balance. Nine of this. Yeah. So you guys may be single right now. But there will be a reunion, a connection. Look at this. This couple inside a lotus or rose flower and their aura is beaming. And look, there's this heart. It's a heart. Blue heart communication. Six of cups, three and three and the rainbow. So... Uh, this is past life, soulmate, reconnection, reunion, reconciliation. There will be a reconnection. And this is people, th these fairies are working together. Working together. So we have three threes, three three. And didn't we get three three three? Three 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 says Senate Master. We did. We got three 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 in my homemade deck here. I don't think I pulled it out. I keep seeing the anger. He may be dealing with anger and then there's disgusted as well. It kind of stand out. I didn't pull it. Yeah, there is light here shining through. And here we have the tree again. Tree is po prominent. He is grounded though. Two of swords. He's conflicted. Conflicted. Stuck. Stuck. Two and two, two of disbalancing. Yeah, balancing. Trying to balance. This is more him. This is also more him. This is his side. This is the union. Put it in the middle, the connection. Yeah. This is Princess of Swords. I'm looking at this. There's a lot of emotions, but yet there's light coming in. There's communication, 
connecting with the divine, going through it. He's going to soar. He's, he's going to make it. He's going to fly. Fly height as a kite. Yeah, there may be some fear, some illusions, maybe even some, uh, death within the family or death, you know, of some sort. Not not for everyone, but yeah, not, yeah, he's going to come for, there will be an expression of emotion. High Priestess, this is you, trust your intuition. And look, we have Ten of Cups. So we have the Six of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. And we have this light coming in. Three of uh, Discs working together. Yeah, we, ha we, had, uh, we had quick, fast movement. And here it is again, Eight of Wands. Yeah, when he comes, it, it's going to be fast. It's going to be quick. Or when he, the connection, it's going to be quick. Yeah, right now he's defending himself, fending off some stuff. Perhaps some of the dark energy that he's going through. All right, so let's pull some from this Twin Flame deck. Spirit guys, angels, Senate masters, what is currently going on with Cancerian and their Divine Masculine Twin Flame connection? That just fell out. Ace of Pentacles. What? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles came out again because you just had that. And I said a solid, uh, solid offer, solid new beginning. So this is the second time. It's right here. I think this is Ace of Pentacles. Nope, this is Strength. There is an Ace of Pentacles somewhere down there. I'm not sure where I put it. But there is an Ace of Pentacles. I think I put it under the connection. Anyway, it came out again. Ace of Pentacles. New solid beginning. New solid start. Wise investment. It's a light bulb. He's going to have a... He's continue going to have an aha uh -huh connection. Look, this is the Twin Flame card, you guys. And this deck is a whole bunch of balloon. There's house for solid foundation. Foundation and commitment. Four of Wands. So you have the reconnection and you have the Twin Flame card. This is happy celebration. You have that rainbow, too. See? Here it is. Happy home, happy family connection. So it is coming in. It is coming in. And here we have confident and magnetic Queen of Wands. So there's, there may be a fire sign involved, but to me, I feel more this is passion because you guys had that magnetic, confident, this is confident. So trait of uh, uh, a fire sign and lots of fire, lots of, there's a lot of passion between uh, you two, this connection. Well, most Twin Flame do have passion, but this is, is showing up in your reading. The passion, remember we had that desire, sexual desire, so he may be desiring you or fantasizing about you or having sexual um, fantasies or even sexual dreams um, connecting with you in that level. But yeah, we have two of pentacles again. We have two of pentacles twice. So this divine masculine, it, it has a lot on his plate and he's balancing Walking on the tightrope. He's balancing. He's he's doing a lot of multiple things. Um, what do you call it? Wearing a lot of hats and multitasking. Multitasking. So what what is next? What is next? What is next for the twin flame connection between cancer and their Ten of Pentacles, ultimate achieving. Yeah, this is sol this is the solid family, stable family achievement. You're gonna get. You have the ten ten. You have the ten of cups, and you have the ten of uh, Pentacles, and you have the four of wands, and you have the six of cups. So definitely getting together, coming together, reconciliation, love, emotional fulfillment, emotional satisfaction. New solid beginning with the Ace of uh, Pentacles twice and then the Ten of Pentacles as well. Solid, yeah, Eight of Cups evolving. He's evolving, you guys. 
So just he, he's come a long way, just a little bit more. Eight of Cups. Yeah, he's walking. That's walking away. Eight of Cups, traditionally someone walking away from something unfulfilling, uh, unsatisfactory, dissatisfied to find something more fulfilling for their soul. And this deck, this Twin Flame deck, he is evolving. And remember I said hanging upside down, enlightenment. Yeah, soul contract. You got justice twice. There will be karmic justice. And he is evolving. Remember I said he is aware. And there is a soul contract. So in the meantime, you do you, continue to do you, do your thing, focus on your mission. And when he's done, uh, then you guys get together and, and, and fulfill your soul contract because it's destined, it's karmic. And there is a uh, re reconnection. Eight of Pentacles, work in progress. Remember I said he's coming along, not quite there yet. So Spirit's letting you know he is a work in progress. It's coming together. The pieces of the puzzle is coming together. He see the picture now. It's almost complete. There's just a little bit left. Final touches on this side, but you can see the picture. So he does see the picture now. He has an awareness. It's just uh, some finishing touch. So work in progress, but he will get there. And look, you guys, beautiful way to end the reading. Look at this, lovers, twin flame connection. Didn't I already say that already? You have divine masculine twice. And then you have the ten of cups and the six of cups and reunion. And then you have the twin flame card. And now you have the lover card. And this is a major arcana. So this is for you divine feminine who are going through doubt or who have gone through doubt or who may be going through doubt. Spirit is confirming for you that he is your divine masculine. This is a twin flame soul connection. There is a soul contract. There will be justice, karmic justice. It is destined, uh, but he's a work in progress. He is aware of the connection, but he's still working through some things. All right. And three of wands awaiting results. So he could be waiting on something to come through as well, as far as finances or whatever. But there is ace of wands spark. New beginning. New beginning. Look, you guys, nine of swords, self-sabotage and nightmares. So there's the residual of that. And we had self-sabotage before. So it's like a, a, a tug of war, you know, touch and go, touch and go. He has like snaps of his brain, glimpses where he sees the picture. He sees this rainbow, this foundation. It's beautiful, right? And then he pulls himself back due to fear, self-doubt, self-worth, that negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if you can? What if you fail? Who do you think you are? You know, that negative programming. Who do you think you are? Look at you. Blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, that. Blah. All right. So he and then he does. It, and then he pulls back. And then he's like, yeah, you know, who am I? I'm a failure. I'm a loser. I have nothing to offer. I, that negative self-talk. Right. We all go through it. So then it creates self-sabotage, you know, so, and stress. But he is going to pull himself together and be strong with that strength card and create and manifest and shine his light bright. Yeah, balance, temperance, balance. I was going to end it here. This was a perfect ending, but I guess nine of cups. Okay, so this is a good ending too. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, satisfaction. So you guys will get your wish fulfillment. And look, six of uh, pentacles. Look, you guys are going to get together and you're going to do your work together. Because over here, you were doing your work. I said you were doing your work, right? Healing the earth but on your own. Look at this. And then now you guys are going to come together and work together to raise the vibration of the earth. How beautiful is this? This is a perfect reading. So you continue to do you and divine timing when he's done dealing with all his stuff, unprogramming himself, deprogramming himself, and uh, gain a little bit more confidence and trust in himself and trust in the divine, uh, divine and trust in the connection. He 
Who's going to come to you? Six of Pentacles is nor, uh, traditionally someone holding a scale, giving money. So this is equal give and take balance. So balance is the key word of your reading that came up and uh, in the connection. And this is balance coming together, working together. Knight of Cups, romantic gesture. And look, Queen of Cup. Look, Knight of Cup. Queen. So he's going to come in. Offer his expression to you, the Queen of Cups. Here you are, and you're going to be overwhelmed with his, with emotion once this this your divine masculine expressed to you. You're going to be surrounded in emotions. And the bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Pentacles, steady progress. It's slow like a snail, but it is steady and it is progress. And it is moving forward. It is a work in progress. And I don't know what I did with that painting. All right. Slow and steady win the race. And new uh, love. Ace of Cups. Love initiation. And here you are. Empress. Divine Feminine. Wheel of Fortune, destined opportunity. Finally, the Wheel of Fortune came out. I said it's destined, but the Wheel of Fortune hadn't come out. So now it has. And look, you guys, Emperor, Divine Masculine, the third time. The third time, Spirit is confirming to you he's your Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine. All right? And top of the deck is King of Cups. Emotional mastery. He's going to master his emotion and he's going to come forward. Amen to that. All right. Amen. Should I, let's pull. Should I pull? I'm going to pull my favorite, uh, my favorite surrender cards just to see what you need to work on. Final messages and what he still need to work on really quick, and then we'll end it. Although it's been a good ending. So we'll play. Okay, one more card for our Divine Masculine. Of course, two jumps out. Surrender comparison with other people. Surrender denial. Yeah, so there's a part of him that's still in denial, blindfolded. That's that two of sword energy that we have. Accept people in situation exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decision. Yeah, so that's what he needs to work on and release and let go. And this may be the ego, you know, comparing himself with others, you know, as far as finances, status, job, money, uh, material possession. All right, and then messages for the Divine Feminine. What? Okay, surrender worry. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> I can't sing. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven anxiety life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Yeah. So release worry, Divine Feminine. You got this. Spirit got this. Everything will work out and surrender fear. All right. Surrender worry, surrender fear. All right, Cancerian, I'm going to leave your reading there. Hopefully this was helpful and useful to you and uh, shed some light on your twin flame connection and what's going on with your divine masculine and your connection. So hopefully it resonated. Let me know in the comments if it did. Thanks for watching. Uh, love and light to you. And I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.